Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Catherine from Dryer Days Art Studio. Want to do a little bit of an experiment today, so let's get right to it. Hey guys, it's Catherine from Dryer Days Art Studio. Thanks for being with me today. So today I'm trying an experiment that I want to uh, share with everybody. And so you can see I have two small canvases here. And the premise behind this is I want to be um, doing some more pours um, where I can like block out some space that the pour um, paint does not run onto. So essentially here what I'm trying to do is I want to do the pour. I want the paint to go on the white spot and where these spots are blocked off, I don't want the paint to run. So I'm trying two different techniques here. I'm going to use a uh, green frogs tape, painter's tape. I'm going to use that on this one. And then on this one over here, I'm using art masking fluid, which a lot of people use on water watercolors. This one, it says it's kind of more for paper, but we're going to try it on this canvas. And what happens is this stuff dries on here and then you can just essentially like peel it off. I put this on here earlier this morning. I've never worked with this before, so it is kind of a little tacky. I'm not sure. I don't know. It's a little tacky, um, but I'm hoping it's dry. And so now I'm gonna pause right here. I'm gonna mix up my colors and then I will get them ready to pour on here. Okay, so we're gonna do this like I normally would. These canvases are so little and adorable. these will probably come out beautifully now too since I'm not like actually trying to make a painting <laughs> oh gosh I have to let these dry and then uh, we will see how they come out hey everybody it's Catherine I'm back I've let these paintings dry a little bit and I want to pull off my um, guards here to kind of see how these dried now this is still a little wet. I don't know if you can tell, <clears throat> excuse me, I have a bit of a cold, sorry about that. Um, and they are still a little bit wet. They're not totally dry, but I'm okay with that because I've noticed even when painting my walls with painter's tape or frog tape, it's better to kind of take it off while it's not 100% dry because you can actually kind of crack the paint. And even though this is different paint and it's acrylic, um, I just want to see if that holds true and also because I'm just I'm really getting a little impatient so this tape did actually a lot better than I thought it was going to. I was um, worried the paint was going to get under the tape. Now, because this is kind of the thickest part of the paint and it's still a little wet, it's a little tacky, I'm just trying to kind of lay it down. I'm going to zoom in, but because I pulled, you know, the tape up and the tape had paint on it, it kind of brought up this little lip with it and I want it to be more flush. Like this one is a little bit more flush but I like that there's a separation of the texture. That's kind of what I'm going for. So I'm really happy with how this taping of this came out. Yeah, and it may, oh, see this one. Okay, I'm not real sure what happened there, but this was still kind of, this was almost like 100% dry. And see, I got like a huge chunk came off of it. So that might be kind of part of the trick too, is getting that paint off before it is 100% um, dry. So now the same goes for this one. This is the one where I used um, the art masking fluid and I have never used this stuff before. Um, I'm kind of, I'm really nervous about, oh yeah, this is not really, I mean, it kind of worked. Um, it definitely blocked off the paint from getting on that part of the canvas, but it's not as clean of a, 
and then that one in the middle I just totally lost so um, wow yeah okay so I think we're gonna stick with the frog tape for my next sort of experiment that I'm gonna do with this um, outlining and I will bring that in a future video I don't know I'm gonna have to figure out something with like smoothing edges down maybe let it dry a little bit more I'm a little concerned about the fact that that pulled up but Maybe I should have been pulling that one a little bit slower. I'll look back at my camera, but pretty cool. So thanks guys. Till next time, keep on painting.